Good morning and welcome to the Poplar Ridge Morning News. Today is Wednesday, May 20th. Let's look at our weather. It's going to be a lot warmer today than it's been, so a high of 76. That's going to feel pretty warm, I think. With similar skies to yesterday, mostly sunny, and winds 9 miles an hour, which the breeze is probably going to feel good when you're playing outside today. We have two birthdays to celebrate at Poplar Bridge today. Our birthday wishes go out to Jose and Siobhan. Everyone wishes you the most happy birthday. All right, we have three phonology fact finders today, and they all relate to birds of one kind or another. So Odin was visiting his grandparents in Victoria. He used his sense of sight and hearing and noticed two pairs, and you can see them, two pairs of geese with their goslings. Awesome job, Odin. Simon sent us a picture. So they have a bush outside their house, which they noticed some eggs. They noticed um, the bird, the mother bird who was coming to tend to them, but they didn't quite recognize it because it looked so different than the male version of the bird, but it turns out it's a cardinal. And this is what a female cardinal looks like. So thank you, Simon, for noticing those eggs and sending us them in. And finally, Drake. Now you probably can't see much yet in this picture, but he noticed some robin eggs. You can, there's three of them here in Aria Scooch back. This one, here's a close up. You can't quite see super good because it's like below their deck, but the little mouth is open. The eggs hatched and there's the babies. He also sent us a video. Is that the baby you laying down? Mm -hmm. What baby? Picking out the cage. Thank you, Drake, for sending in that video and those great pictures of the baby robins. All right, our what's up wall today. Odin has been busy helping his family fill their bird feeders, which is great because then you get a lot of backyard friends who come by to <laughs> visit you and you can watch those birds. I wanted to let everybody know tomorrow, Thursday, at 12 o'clock, so lunchtime tomorrow, Mystery Doug is going to be doing a live show. So if you go to mysteryscience.com backslash live, you will get to see a live production of Mystery Doug where kids can like write in and ask questions live, which is awesome. So don't forget tomorrow at 12 o'clock, Mystery Doug Live. Ooh. All right, friends, remember the variety show is up and running. Visit the Poplar Bridge webpage, click the plus sign underneath your grade level to add a sticky note with your talent. We're gonna look at Kylie and Elena's posts today. So let's take a peek. So Kylie is sharing her talent for art and drawing. She, and I didn't know this, I'm learning so much about Hi, kids. my talent is drawing still life with something weird in it. So this is a dog stepping a flower. This isn't still life, it's just weird. I don't know how to explain it, it's eyes. This is a Polaroid with a scorpion on it. I can't tell if you can see that. Yep. All right, so Kylie is showing you some of her beautiful artwork. And like I said, this has been so fun to watch these videos and pictures kids are posting because I'm learning a lot of stuff about kids that I didn't know. Here we have Elena, who is going to perform the cup song while she actually sings it herself, which is pretty cool. I'm going to start it at about 10 seconds or so. Awesome. So Elena, not only good with the cup and her coordination there, but also singing. Super awesome. Thank you, Kylie and Elena, for sending in those videos. That was great to see. Remember, you have um, until the 31st to go to the Padlet to add something that you'd like to share. All right, friends, now it's time for Words on Wednesday. Remember, the whole point of Words on Wednesday is to help you think of some games you can play with people in person, on the phone, with a video chat like Zoom or Google Meets. So our game today is just called Categories. And I put an alphabet die here because you could use something like this to play the game, but you don't need it. 
So this is an alphabet game. How it works is one, choose a category. You might choose animals or foods or places, whatever, just pick a category. The first person is going to say something that falls in that category. Try to start with the letter A. Then the next person is going to say something in that category. Try to start the word with something that starts with the letter B. If you can think of something with the letter B, try to do C or D or E, but try to see if you can get them in order. And then you're going to keep going until you get to the letter Z, and then you can think of a new category. A variation you could do to play this game is, as you say, um, you maybe don't want to have to go in order. If you're a younger student, like in kindergarten or preschool, it might be hard to go in order. You can just say a word and then write down the letter of the alphabet that your word starts with, and then no one else gets to use that letter. Or um, I ordered dice like this on Amazon. You could roll a die, and then whatever letter lands face up, you have to think of something that starts with that letter. So there's a lot of different ways to play. Mm -hmm. So Ariel, what category should we do today? Um, I'm gonna go with places. Places, and who's going first? So places. I'll uh, say you. <laughs> okay, something that starts with an A, Alaska. Um, B? Bloomington. <laughs> okay, C, um, Colorado. Um, D? D. Mm, there's a state that starts with a D. Delaware. Delaware. <laughs> e, a place that starts with an E. Um, Excelsior. That's a town not far from here. So you're going to keep playing like that. Once you get to Z, choose a new category. We got the idea for this game. We kind of just made it up on our own. We have a game at home called Tapple, which is super fun. It comes with category cards. I should have brought it in. And then when you say a letter, you have to push it down and then no one else can use that letter. Or another board game that's kind of similar is a board game called Scategories. So anyway, we called our game Categories, but it's based off of Tapple and Scategories. Awesome. Hope you have fun playing that. Remember, friends, we love to get submissions from kids and families for the morning news. So visit the Poplar Bridge webpage, click on our morning news site, and we're looking for phonology fact finders, the WhatsApp wall, and joke of the day. So send in, either email me or fill out the form. All right, it is time for Miss D's joke of the day. We're going to watch a video first, and then we'll tell the joke. Hey, hey, polar bears. I hope you're doing well and taking extra special care of yourselves during this time. Don't forget to get good rest at night, read a lot, eat healthy foods, play outside, and brush your teeth. Here's a funny joke about Mr. Moeller. All right, friends, here's Miss <laughs> D's joke. Remember, it's about teeth. Hey, Mr. Moeller, what time is your dentist appointment? Now, you know that a molar is one of those really big teeth in the back of your mouth. So we're asking Mr. Moeller, what time is your dentist appointment? Tooth. 2.30. Like at 2.30, or the tooth is hurting, 2.30. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Miss D, for saying that great tooth joke and reminding everybody to brush your teeth. Hannah's joke says, why do people eat eggs? Because they are eggs. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. Lily asks, or her joke was, the rock says, you're so strong. He called you paper. Get it? The rock, paper, scissors game. Thanks, Lily, for that one. And finally, a joke from Elena. What did one plate say to the other? Dinner's on me. So when someone's going to pay for your dinner somewhere, they're like, yeah, dinner's on me. So yeah. dinner's on a plate and dinner's on a plate. <laughs> Thank you, Elena. That's a great one, too. That's it, everybody. Thank, Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.
Me. Is that the baby you laying down? Mm-hmm. What baby? It's picking up again!